Dr. Chris Fox here. Today we're going to talk about the Sphinx test. This test is used to see if there is any potential uh, sacral torsion in the sacroiliac region. You're going to have your patient in prone and you're going to palpate the sacral sulcus on each side, which is medial to the PSIS. Here we're just assessing for depth if there's an asymmetry. Then we're going to move to the ILA and we do that by working our way inferiorly from the sacral sulcus along the lateral aspect of the sacrum and as soon as it goes from a vertical orientation to a more angular one then we're at the ILA and at this point we're looking to see if there's a height difference if one seems superior relative to the other so now that we've noted if there's one difference on one side compared to the other we're going into the test position where Jim's going to go on to his elbows and we're going to reassess both the sacral sulcus and the ILA. If they, the landmarks become more symmetrical, then we would call it a forward torsion. If they become more asymmetrical, we would call that a backward torsion. 